IVC, just a very quick uh, video here <coughs> for YouTube. Just got a couple of albums through the post that I've been waiting for and I wanted to share it with you. First off, very exciting Fleetwood Mac rumours. Sorry about this, it all goes backwards. Um, this is the new mastered version. Number one album of 77, Grammy Award winner for Album of the Year, RIAA Diamond Album Award, etc. etc. So I've slipped the shrink wrap. Let's see what we get inside. So there we go. Nice vinyl, authentic Warner Brothers label. God, it's hard to get out. It's very static. It's really annoying. Okay, there we go. Can you see that? Probably not, it's not coming out, is it? Um, there we go. So, nice final. I think it's 180 gram, although it doesn't feel that heavy, but there you go. Let's see what else comes in the pack. So with the original there was an inner and I um, can't remember what else I got with it. I do have it, I will check, but um, this inner has got different pictures on it and it was out with all the lyrics. Um, IVC, I just had to check my original Fleetwood Mac. In fact this was my wife's and her deck must have been so bad I mean look at that discoloration yeah that's the old that is the new look at the difference but you know a loved album is a played album so that's what they're all about um, lots of wear in here but you know she loved it to bits had one of those old cheap decks and just really really didn't treat it well but she loved the album so, there's the original vinyl, which actually doesn't look too bad. I'm going to have to replay this, but it's really flimsy. Look at that, that's the original. And it came out hot off the press in 77. The punk year, and this came out and stole the show. Amazing. So, the inner, it's exactly the same. That's really a surprise to me. I'd have put I'd have put a bet on that without seeing it, that it was actually the record in it. But there you go, that's it, it's exactly the same. So this is the new one. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Authentic. The old one is, uh, the original is thicker. And, uh, you know, more cardboardy. The new one is like shiny, it's more like a poster. But it's not as strong. Let's just look at the labels and let's see um, <clears throat> how similar they look. So let me have a quick look here. Ah, uh, yeah, no, they've they've not done that very well. That's not very good. To be fair. Why don't they just copy it? You know, on the original you had the Fleetwood Mac down the bottom in a nice scroll, just like the uh, the, the uh, album sleeve with rumours at the top there in small writing, and then. The re-release, the remaster here. You know, you got rumours at the top, Big Fleetwood Mac. You know, why not copy it? Why not make it the same, you know? And side two is like two eyes instead of a number two. It doesn't have the, well, it's got a different record catalogue number, but you'd expect that. It doesn't say on the new one, stereo 33 and a third. It's um, obviously got different stuff down the bottom, like copyright and stuff. Um, it doesn't have the really nice little Warner Brothers label, uh, little Warner Brothers icon at the top. It's got reprise, so I'm not sure whether maybe in the States it was on reprise. Somebody maybe can tell me. And the writing's got all this fully named. Instead of Buckingham V, it says for the chain, Lindsay Buckingham, Mick Fleetwood, Christine V, John V, Stevie Nicks. 
and on the original it says Buckingham McVie uh, Nix Fleetwood straight with 428 sound this one it's 427 on the uh, it's four minutes 27 on the uh, remaster on the original it's 428 extra second uh, 331 for you make loving fun which is with V don't like that track actually 333 on the new one 331 on the old one so they must have got the timings wrong I don't want to know by Nix love that track oh daddy hate that track actually Gold Dust Woman, fabulous track. So that's, that's on side two and on side one. I don't know why I'm doing this backwards. Secondhand news, dreams, never going back, don't stop, go your own way, and songbird. You know, the new one looks a bit dished. That's going to really nick me. So, I don't know. Okay, that's a good one. so there we go. Fleetwood Mac Rumours, a classic album. I had to buy it. Um, I didn't buy the extended one, I just bought the single album, and uh, I'll let you know how it sounds. See you, DC. I must get this clock out, because when I look in this uh, in this iMac uh, video, it's all like a mirror image. It's really hard to get stuff aligned. My holy grail, even though it's new, it is Bowie's The Next Day. I've been waiting for this. I've been criticising the cover. Um, I had it on CD and now I've got it on album. Do you know the cover's fantastic? I really get it now. I really get it. And someone said they thought the cover was translucent, but it's not. The square is is very dense. There's no there's no image poking through that at all. So trusty knife. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna split the wrapping hopefully without cutting into the vinyl you know the other day I managed to cut a sleeve really dodgy but this one seems to be all right he says slashing a bloody great hole in the sleeve over here no that's fine is it no that's fine it's a gatefold so I'm gonna to have to cut I'm going to take the shrink wrap off, which is a real shame, because I like to keep it on if I can, but there you go. Let's see this beauty. So it's a matte textured sleeve, which is slightly sheeny, but it's matte. Okay. Inside, a new picture of Bowie with the white and the top, and the next day, and the next, and another day. And that's all there is until we open the box. Let's have a look what's inside. So, oh, looks like I've got the CD again. But as it's Bowie, I had to have the special edition CD. So there's the CD, it comes with it. Always nice to get a CD with a vinyl. You know, anything new that comes out, to my mind, should always have the old one CD as well. Here we go, is the inside. Of disc one. Once again, heroes crossed out. Yellow on on the saturated background, and on the back lyrics, but they're all merged into one, which is, you know, it's his album. What can I say? I'd rather not have them all merged into one, but there we go. Wow! Look at that. Look at that. I really like that. Sony Music, eh? That is 180 gram. The Run Out Master Disc AD. That is just so nice. Just so nice. So that's sort of like an orange and white label. I must get some inners on here. I don't like putting them in these cardboardy sleeves. You just scratch the vinyl to help. So there's number one. Let's just put that back in for now. And vinyl two, nothing else in there hiding away. Great picture of Bowie circa today. And then I will read it cover to cover, but that's all the artists and the tracks and uh, 
everything else on there. Um, you know, all the production stuff, really nice stuff I spend ages reading. And it looks like the label on disc two is exactly the same, but it says the next day three, the next day three, and the next day four. So the other one was the next day one and the next day two. It's just really nice. Look at that vinyl. That is just shockingly beautiful. Look at it. Virgin vinyl. Can't be beat. Let's see what's uh, on the run out. Nothing too exciting. Master disc, AD, some numbers. Um, nice sort of space on the inner so you get the best of the album in the outer tracks. So tracking wise should be fine, although my Denon DL110 stylus, and I'll take a macro of that and send it up, is one of the best all round tracking cartridges. Um, it's a moving coil but has the output of a moving magnet and uh, it really tracks deep so even some of those old albums that are noisy um, play really well with the Denon DL110. I'll just show you the box. That's the box for it. It's worth it's worth uh, being aware of this one. It's a moving coil, high output stereo cartridge. 110 quid online and uh, DL110 and it is just such a great cartridge. Recommended to me by Steve Audio Online and I can't thank him enough. It's just, I just replayed most of my vinyl. Um, stuff that sounded really cruddy before just sounds so good. Um, I lined it up, it's just, it just plays really well. So, And as for these, wow, look at that. I've been waiting for this for so long, I know it sounds sad, but I love my Bowie. 